Barry, what are you doing? Our kids are gonna wanna see this. What's going on, everybody? Just watched the Flash movie, and uh, my team, the a &R team, we all went together and watched this movie. I want to do a quick spoiler-free review for you guys. Um, it's hard to do a review that's not spoiling the movie, but I'm going to do my best and do it quickly here for you guys. And then down the road, I'll do a spoiler fill review because there's a lot to unpack in that. So this movie, this is a very important movie because it's sort of in between this you know, new era that James Gunn's going to sort of start Usher Rain, and he decided to keep this movie and James Gunn is no dummy and if you you know if he's keeping this movie it's for a good reason so I had that mindset going into this movie and saying okay why was this movie kept and not being scrapped so this must have an important connection to what James is going to do so walking in I had already a high expectation and then people over the internet are like saying it's one of the best movies of all time yada, yada. and they're, they're entitled to their opinion and it's fine in my opinion though this movie is not up there with some of the juggernauts like the avengers uh last two at, at the end game and the movie before that the two uh sony uh miles morales movies across the spider-verse and into the spider-verse those movies are another level and this movie i feel is not there i think it's two steps down from that I think it's it's a good movie. The overall story is a beautiful story. It's about cherishing family uh, moments and values. It, it has an overall good feel, good story. But where it suffers from is a lot of the CGI. It just doesn't feel polished, feels rushed. Uh, the decisions to do some of these uh, epic moments felt awkward. You know, I'm just sitting there going, that's how you choose to go about doing this? You know, and I wish I could talk more about it, but it's going to get into spoilers and I don't want to do that. But that's where for me, the movie really suffered is the overall CGI and how Barry and the Flash connect with this whole story. These the other characters, you know, like you have Michael Keaton's Batman, you have Ben Affleck's Batman, you have uh, Sasha Kaye's Supergirl. These guys all did a fantastic job they came to work they're like okay where's the script and they banged it out they did a great job uh, i think those guys uh did a great job to bring the movie up even to a higher level not to the extreme top uh, and uh, superhero movie level but i think without those characters this movie would have been even lower for me in the score so they did a good job there michael keaton wasn't just a throw-in guy to give you that nostalgia no he actually played a good role and a part in this movie. You felt that. Where it also dropped in, in terms of teamwork, that it didn't feel like an Avengers. It didn't feel like, um, you know, a Justice League team coming together. Essentially, this is another alternate version of a Justice League coming together, right? And it didn't feel that way. It, it's predominantly Flash, which is obviously supposed to be like that. The movie is Flash. But if you're going to bring all these characters in, there's got to be more of a team uh, emphasis. And I, I just felt some of that was short. There were little moments. Some of the characters like Sasha's, uh, Sasha Kaye's Supergirl, she did a fantastic job. But it just, I wanted to see a little bit more of her. Her background story was sort of rushed into it. It was thrown in. And I just feel like the decision to have Supergirl in there instead of Superman, you know, I, I just feel that that, shouldn't have been the case she should have got her own movie first and get that backstory the character development going and then throw them in obviously with what's going on the turmoil that happened in dc uh you know we probably would never got a flash movie if henry cavell was in there they would have just scrapped this movie together but I, I just felt that she deserved more as a character and hopefully down the road we see more of her uh, some capacity in the dceu but essentially this really movie really suffered from that team cohesiveness i think um the double berries was you know um there was a lot of jokes in there it was fine but then there's a lot of jokes that just kind of didn't hit um the writing like i said the overall story was good it, if you're looking for easter eggs and you know big cameo appearances they are sprinkled in but it's not as much as i thought it would have been i think they they missed on a lot of characters they could have brought into the big screen here and really given the swan song they deserved. 
there was some big characters that I was like really awesome for them to doing that. But, you know, I think they could have done more. I was expecting more from this movie and I didn't get that. But overall, it's one of the best DC movies to come out in the last 10 years. That's saying a lot um, because there has been a lot of terrible ones. Um, and I felt that this was one of the best. Um, and honestly, I think it's worth going to theaters and checking it out. I think you should definitely go to the theaters and check it out. It's good on big screen. You'll have a fun time. It's not a horrible movie or anything like that, but it's not in the top tier levels. And for that, I'm going to give this movie a 7.5 out of 10. As always, guys, I appreciate every one of you guys for joining us, watching this video. Much love to everybody who subscribed. If you're new here, click on the subscribe button, hit the like button, and come in for a cool ride. We're doing prizes. We're doing, you know, all kinds of, of videos. We definitely want feedback from you guys on what movies and TV shows to talk about. And we do auction figure reviews, as you can see behind me. All kinds of cool things in the pop culture world. Come along for the journey. Hit the subscribe button. and Definitely hit the like button. Thank you. Have yourself a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.